Let us pray, the angelus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Our for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, Enrich me poverty and clothe me nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the Puritan faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Let's all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass here at the Basilica Minor River Lake of Piat. I also want to greet all those who are following us on the Facebook page of the Basilica Minore. Today, we remember Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, the friends of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let's so call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right of the Father to intercede for us. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha, Lazarus, and Mary's house as a guest, grant we pray that through their intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved, he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the, love of, in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blast with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Please all stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We can walk on the beginning of Sayo, Maga Salita, hallelujah. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, you have been here. My brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said, there your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Originally, brothers and sisters, our feast today is only for St. Martha, the sister of Mary and Lazarus. But uh, in the year 2020, Pope Francis has included Martha, Mary and Lazarus to be included in our feast today. Because these three were friends of Jesus. Okay. So today, we celebrate the feast of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Okay. These three brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, were friends of the Lord. And it is said that uh, when the Lord would have a respite or rest from his public ministry, would always go to the home of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. As in the other gospel episode, we know how Martha was busy in preparing for the food of Jesus while Mary sat beside him to listen to him. Lazarus, as we know, was the one who Jesus raised from the dead. And in the Gospel of John, when Jesus, uh, if there is uh, one occasion that Jesus uh, wept or cried, it is when Lazarus died because of his friendship with him. Okay? So in the Gospel today, Martha came to Jesus and uh, she and her sister Mary were, were mourning and grieving because of the death of their brother Lazarus. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, you have been here. My brother would not have died. I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. And Jesus assured her, your brother will rise. And we know from the Gospels also that uh, Jesus was true to his promise. He raised Lazarus from the dead. Okay? And what is remarkable about the Gospel aside from that is this no, that Martha made the confession of faith. I know that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. So what do we learn from our gospel today? First, brothers and sisters, is friendship with the Lord. Friendship with the Lord. That this friendship with Jesus, brothers and sisters, is so deep and so profound that uh, the relationship of uh, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus with Jesus is something that uh, cannot be fathomed. In a sense, that it's always the Lord who comes to them. Okay? So when we are friends of Jesus, the Lord will always come to us. Authentic friendship. Authentic friendship. Martha and Mary, they do not mind serving the Lord. Because uh, they were friends with Jesus. Okay? So this is the first thing that we want to reflect. Let us develop and deepen a friendship, uh, a profound friendship 
with Jesus. Okay, a profound friendship with Jesus. Secondly, it is this. No? Mary listened to Jesus. Okay? Listen to Jesus. No? As the Lord said, uh, Martha, Martha, you are anxious about so many things. Mary has chosen the better part and it shall not be taken away from her. What was that? It is listening to Jesus. And we know that Mary listened to Jesus because deep inside her heart, she knows that uh, she will have so much uh, from the Lord, which means to say that the profound uh, teachings, the profound uh, words of Jesus, that uh, Mary loved to listen. And we know from the gospel too, that it was Mary who anointed the feet of Jesus with the uh, aromatic nard anointing at Bethany, and wiped the feet of Jesus with her hair. She is not to be confused with Mary Magdalene. No? She is different. Uh, Mary of Bethany is different from Mary Magdalene. So it was Mary of Bethany who wiped the, face, the, the feet of Jesus with her hair. Okay? That, that's, that's how far... Mary of Bethany, the sister of Martha and Lazarus, went to, to express her love and her friendship with the Lord. Okay? And thirdly, brothers and sisters, it is the confession of faith of Martha. I know that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Okay? It is in this fashion, brothers and sisters, that the confession of faith came from the lips of a woman. You know, in the Gospels, it is always the man. It's always men who would uh, make the confession of faith. But this time it is not. It is Martha. And what is the confession of faith all about? It is about expressing the profound identity of Jesus as the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. And perhaps we ask ourselves, why did Martha make that confession of faith? Simply because, again, of the friendship with the Lord. So let us develop this profound friendship with the Lord. Great things happen when we have a genuine and authentic friendship with Jesus. God bless us all. Let us all stand. Let us all stand. On the feast of saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, let us remember those persons who serve us daily. Let us ask God to grant them the blessings and the graces they deserve. For every intention we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work in the service of the church may truly become contemplatives in action let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that public servants may perform their duties in the spirit of love and service let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that like martha may we be willing and generous in bringing joy and comfort to those entrusted to our care let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the sick and the aged may find care and support from their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed who serve in this life may reap the fruits of their labor in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for personal intentions. As we also pray for all those who we promise to pray for, Special those intentions to include in this Mass. Lord God, we pray for the spirit of service. Let our life and work be fruitful to many that we may serve as Martha, Mary, and Lazarus did. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Tanggapin 
ang alay ng ito, mga biyayang nagbula sa pagpapanaw mo. Tanta ng bawat pusong pagkatinibig mo, ngayon nananalig nagmamahal sa'yo. Tinapay na nagmula sa butil ng triko pagkain nagbibigay ng buhay mo at alam na nagmula sa isang tangkay ng upas inumin nagbibigay lakas Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that these are sacrifice may become pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders and your saints, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as their homage of love was pleasing to you, so to our beautiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. To say right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with the strength ever new and offer us your signs of your love and that their saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in consultation we acclaim. Your glory, full of your glory, oh Sana, in the highest, oh Sana, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, oh Sana, in the highest, oh Sana. In the highest Hosanna, in the highest Hosanna, in the highest. Please stand. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching with him to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may always flee from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the examples of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Prayer for the sick. Loving Father, we pray for the healing touch of your spirit to our brothers and sisters, relatives, and friends who are now suffering from sickness, illness, disease. In love and in prayer, we reach out to them so that we may bring your loving care, goodness, and kindness by being present in their time of need. May they be strengthened and consoled by the compassion of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who has shown us the redemptive value of suffering, so that they may be able to offer and unite their suffering to that of Jesus, our Lord, to the intercession of the Blessed Mother, our Lady of Piat. Amen. Please all stand. Thank you very much all those who followed us on Facebook. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow for the blessing. May your people receive your holy blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by that gift is spared all that would harm them and obtain what they desire through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God be with you, all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Good morning, all of you. Good morning, Father. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead to us, God our Father, for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Ave Maria.
Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Day the dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need both for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to thine God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.